हरे कृष्णा डाउट इज अ डिसीज दैट मेक्स द पेशेंट बिलीव दैट द डॉक्टर इज सिक सपोज अ पेशेंट गोज टू अ डॉक्टर नाउ normally the patient understand that i am sick and i need treatment from the doctor but if the patient starts believing that it is the doctor that is sick then the patient will not take anything that the doctor says seriously especially now if it's a infectious disease the doctor might also get infected but if it's a say a disease wherein it's a matter of mental health if the doctor is depressed or the doctor is become mentally unstable and needs to be say institutionalized if that happens then the doctor then the patient will think why why should i even care why should i even try to hear the treatment of the doctor because the doctor doesn't know anything at all so similar in the situation when we become uh, we become overridden by doubt uh, say i went approaching scripture while approaching our spiritual teachers while approaching uh, the spiritual traditions and their teachings and ultimately while approaching the supreme lord if we start thinking that those who are sharing spiritual knowledge our spiritual teachers uh, our gurus are actually say too sentimental or too gullible and they are not rational enough they are not critical enough and they just believe anything and everything and we are more rational we are more intelligent then what happens is actually it is our mind that is creating those conceptions now rationality is important but rationality even is founded on something beyond rationality so if consider science which claims to be rational but science itself is founded on something which is not which cannot be directly rationally justified that why does nature obey laws at all so this is something which science presumes in its research that nature behaves in orderly way or at least in some with some patterns that can be discerned but why should nature behave in that way that science itself has no explanation so rationality is useful but rationality also has its limits and what is what spiritual teachers teach is not irrational but transrational however the point is that if we start believing that whatever is rational that our teacher our spiritual teachers our gurus are sentimental and gullible and irrational then we can't hear them submissively we can't learn much from them and that's why doubt is a dangerous disease the bhagavad gita says in 440 that agyascha shraddha dhanascha samshayatma vinashyati nayam loko stina paro na sukham samshayatmana that those who are doubtful cannot attain happiness either in this world or the next and such doubts have to be removed how by first recognizing how dangerous and uh, dangerous doubts can be and secondly by associating with those spiritual teachers who can explain to us rationally because different gurus may also have different moods and different focuses so if we associate with those who have a spiritual focus similar to, uh, who have a way of explaining that is intelligible to us then we can free ourselves from doubts and grow in knowledge thank you hari krishna